Hi, I'm Lisa Brennickmeyer, the author of the Walking with Purpose Prayer Journal, Praying from the Heart. Let's check it out. At the front of this journal, you're going to find some writing, which is where I'm explaining how I pray and what this journal is meant to do. But most of the journal is taken up with daily pages, and it begins with what I call open thoughts. And this is where you're going to write out your unedited thoughts. I want you to resist the temptation to fill the space with prayers for others. I'm asking you to engage your heart here. And don't worry, in the second part of the journaling process, we're going to focus on praying for others. But begin with your open thoughts. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You're just bringing to God your honest self. And once you've put your thoughts down on paper, you can start to do the work of comparing what is in your head with what God says is true. And so there's space on the opposite page to write out any lies that you see in your thinking, any distorted thinking. And this journal comes with a super helpful bookmark which calls out those lies and distorted thinking and counters them with the truth of who God is. What you might not realize is that deep down, each of these thoughts is tied to a faulty belief about God. And when our thoughts are lie-based or distorted, we inadvertently move our focus from who God is and shift it onto our feelings and circumstances. And we'll stay stuck here unless something interrupts these toxic thoughts. And the interruption is actually this prayer time. So as you move through the prayer journal, every 20 days you're going to find a special page for reflection. And this section will help you to cultivate the practice of gratitude. And when you finish that, now you're ready to pray for others. And so up at the front, I've put some of my favorite personal prayer lists in here to get you started. And then I've given you space to fill in your own. And you're going to want to put one of the ribbons in here. And I also share with you some of my power prayers. And this is where you'll find the I declares, prayers for your husband and prayers for your children. So you start by getting your thoughts down on paper. Then you look for lie-based or distorted thinking. And next, I guide you through a process where you replace the faulty thinking with truths about God. And after you've done this, now you've experienced the renewal of your mind, you're going to be in a great place to pray for others. So I really hope you enjoy this prayer journal. I hope it's a good tool for you that is as helpful to you as it's been for me.